In this video, let me introduce you Phantom JS with Selenium driver. So Phantom JS, uh, it sits in the background, and on top of that is uh, a driver called Ghost driver, which is nothing but a pure implementation of JavaScript. And um, you know, on top of uh, the web driver's wire protocol. So if uh, all of this uh, sounds no, pretty scary just hold on a second I'm going to show you the visual representation of that so this is how uh, it looks like you know I have copied from some website uh, uh, I just wanted to show a pic uh, pictorial representation so I have copied this from I, I believe assert you know which is a very great website um, so anyhow let's uh, try to understand this so phantom JS it sits in the background right it directly cannot uh, interact with the selenium so for that uh, to happen what they did was that they have introduced something called ghost driver uh, which i as i said uh, you know it's a pure implementation of json wire uh, web driver wire protocol and uh, this has been built uh, uh, you know in pure javascript now you cannot directly interact uh, uh, you know this with uh, the language bindings so you have to have uh, you know some kind of protocol and uh, as you remember uh, that you know selenium web driver the architecture of selenium web driver uh, the way that it is in uh, if you have worked with chrome firefox uh, not firefox chrome internet explorer um, safari web driver or opera any any web driver right, they have uh, their own uh, their own drivers like you know for chrome you have chrome driver on windows it's just an exe file and on mac it's a unix executable file or even on ubuntu also you have uh, you know uh, unix executable file so you have to add it to the path of uh, of the variable uh, like you know you have to set up with uh, uh, system dot web uh, you know if it is chrome driver then you have to set system dot chrome dot driver and give the path of the executable so similar to that uh, you know in uh, uh, with the help of phantom js also we have similar similar setup so instead of chrome driver or ie driver you just have uh, ghost driver here okay uh, which implements json wire protocol and is built on uh, javascript so that helps you to interact with your language bindings okay with any language binding you you would be able to interact uh, to phantom js okay so basically what's happening is that you you write your script here in any language binding that you write your script here and the commands through ghost uh, driver go to phantom js so pretty much that is all uh, is there in this uh, setup <clears throat> and that is what all you have to understand there is no big uh, architecture here okay it's a it's a pretty simple one so let's now let's try to understand uh, you know how we can uh, use phantom js in selenium web driver and the language of my choice uh, in this video is uh, going to be java but uh, you can pretty much use it on python per uh, javascript or anything okay so i have uh, eclipse opened here um, and i have created a web uh, a package with the name com dot mr moin selenium phantom js and i have created uh, a class name web driver phantom js so what i'm going to do here is that uh, before i i write any code here let me show you where my executable is present so it's under user directory <coughs> what happened user directory and inside that local and uh, inside that bin <coughs> happened here hold on a second let me see okay <laughs> hold on a second okay let let me where is this Uh, what the hell 
okay anyhow let me navigate it directly from here so i have opened the use eva uh, usr directory and inside that not bin go to local and inside that you have something called bin so you have to place your phantom js uh, we discussed this while uh, trying to set up the phantom js on your mac machine so if this is not here okay if this is not here let me try to um, move it to new finder window and let me try to move this downloads and let me place it there phantom js and let me move it so you don't have it here right so now if i try to create phantom driver hold on give it a second let it populate so i'm creating with uh, uh, you know an empty construction constructor and I will say web driver so you can use phantom JS driver also if you want but I'm just uh, creating web driver and I need to import that so after importing just navigate to either use uh, navigate dot to or uh, just go to get and uh, as usual my favorite website click info dot com all right so let me try to run this now let me format this i like formatting all right now if i try to run this you will see that there will be an error in the console window give it a second and you can see that the path to the driver executable must be set by phantom js dot binary dot path two things okay if you do not have uh, your uh, your phantom js uh, inside this that is uh, under usr let me try to write it here okay under u usr local bin okay if you if you do not have it here then you have to mention it through this so now let me say that uh, uh, give it a second and uh, let me set up using system dot set property i can set up at the key that i have to give is this one and uh, the value is nothing but uh, uh, where exactly is my phantom js okay it doesn't come it like this uh oh where is this okay so phantom js and I need to copy this sorry I have already got that so I need to just give the path right now if I try to run this let's see what happens see that you will not get any error and you see that I told you that uh, it phantom JS it doesn't run directly but it uh, takes help of ghost rider uh, <laughs> not ghost rider ghost driver and it runs on some random port every time that you launch if you want to launch on a specific uh, um, on a specific port then you uh, you can give this property this argument okay you can just give this argument system dot set property and uh, you can you can just give that like that okay or you can use the capabilities and uh, you can just give that capability name um, yeah and and I told that if you have not specified that under this path this uh, now let me copy this right let me copy this to this bin okay if you have that under uh, user local bin you don't have to set this phantom js binary path no i'm not kidding let me open that and i'll show you if i try to run this now you see that it runs directly so you don't have to set up uh, uh, if you have this see it clearly says where exactly is your uh, your executable file located and for your information these are this is not uh, errors okay this is uh, information for some reason they have decided to give it in red color it's fine for us uh, if you want to modify any of the existing properties then you can give here okay the driver name instead of ghost driver 
uh, if you want to use some other driver then you can use it uh, uh, if you go to ghost driver uh, um, what is that uh, github site uh, the author has mentioned that you know he's having hard time uh, you know maintaining that and he's looking for someone uh, someone's help uh, you know to take uh, take over that project so if you are the one who is interested uh, interested in looking uh, for something uh, you know doing exciting then uh, why don't you give it a try just go to that ghost driver uh, um, github site and see if you can uh, handle that and also he has given some alternative in case that if you are uh, if you want that is not up to date uh, right the ghost, uh, ghost driver has been updated very long back and if you want to get uh, you know uh, a more updated one he has suggested something on his uh, github site so you can give it a try so once you have got this you can pretty much do anything you know you can just uh, say get title and um, you know you can just print this you can see out you can it's it's pretty much very similar to how uh, how you get uh, the driver uh, properties you know for chrome or ie or firefox anything it will print the just give it a second and it will print uh, you see that it it has printed the title right so just to show you uh, if you go to this phantom js and press con i mean here itself you can see that you know it it's uh, it, it's nothing but it extends remote web driver so if you go to remote web driver you can see that uh, you know who all are implementing this i mean what all that uh, uh, remote web driver is implementing it implements web driver right which is nothing but uh, an interface so if you go to web driver you see that it's an abstract interface so which means that pretty much you know it, it also is in uh, implements a javascript executor so you can pass uh, uh, synchronous and asynchronous javascripts right and also it has got so many things it 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 also has a take screenshot right so yeah that's very interesting why don't we try give it a try let's uh, try to give it a screenshot right for that uh, i need to convert uh, not convert typecast right it's a better name typecast my driver to take screenshot take screenshot i'll say tss all right and i need to import that i have imported and then i need to get screenshot as output type 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 yes type and i i want to convert i mean see you got so many options here output type you can give any of this base 64 uh, or if you want to convert into some bytes you can do that for simplicity sake i am converting it into file okay and i'll take it into some file right i want i need to import that so i've imported that and once i have this i ha i can uh, take help of the file utils class and uh, i can copy file or i can copy directory copy to directory right copy direct yeah copy file to directory or copy file right so let me try to copy this to a file 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 destination right the file name is file and the file destination you need to give new file and uh, let's say i want to save it here so get the properties and give it and let me save it as test123.png file okay now if i try to run this let me format this i don't uh, like this okay now let me try to run this as a java application because we have not used uh, junit or testng frameworks so let it give give it a second yeah it has run it has uh, taken the screenshot you don't believe me let me refresh this there you go okay it has taken mobile screenshot right if you want to get a complete screenshot then what i would suggest you is uh, to maximize um man manage right no Give it a second. 
now get a dot window where is window what am i doing driver dot manage dot window dot maximize yes now if i try to run this let me let me make it one two three four all right if you want you can pass it from uh, properties file also yeah, let's not do that let's not uh, complicate the things here fine so yes yeah it has completed so if i try to refresh this you see that you got it yeah the full screen okay oh yeah the lines won against uh, super giants that's good for uh, the overall ipl right okay anyhow that is all for this video if you have any questions uh, feel free to put those questions in the comment section any feedback as usual is always welcome and thanks for watching this video